Hi, this is Rick, and this is an introductory tutorial for the WebAssembly text format. If you're unfamiliar with WebAssembly text, WebAssembly text, or WAT, is like an assembly language for WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a binary format. WebAssembly text, like an assembly language, takes that binary format and converts it into something that's human readable. There are dozens of ways to compile WebAssembly text to a WebAssembly module. The tool we will use is an NPM package called Watt-Wasm. To install Watt-Wasm globally as a command line interface tool, you can use the command npm i watt-wasm-g. Once we have Watt-Wasm installed, we will be able to compile. The first thing we will need is a simple module written in Watt. Let's start by creating a WebAssembly text file called module.watt. Inside of the module.watt file, we will add code for the simplest possible WebAssembly module. This will simply be the module expression, as you see here. Now we can compile this module using watt to wasm on the command line. watt to wasm is one of the command line tools included in the watt-wasm npm package that we installed earlier. Compile the module with the following command. Watt to wasm module.watt dash o module.wasm. After this runs, you should have a new file called module.wasm. In WebAssembly text, a double semicolon indicates a single line comment. Everything following the double semicolon on this line is a comment. A multi line comment begins with an opening parenthesis and a semicolon and ends with a semicolon and a closing parenthesis. Now let's create a module that actually does something. Create a file called add.watt, and inside of it, add a module expression. Now we'll create a function with the expression func. Notice how expressions in watt are wrapped in parentheses. This is often compared to Lisp. The function we are creating has an export expression to designate that this function is being exported to JavaScript. After this export expression, we will define the parameters that this function will receive. These parameters will be 32-bit integers named $a and $b. The keyword i32 lets WebAssembly know that these are 32-bit integers. There are four WebAssembly variable types i64 for 64-bit integers, i32 for 32-bit integers, f64 for 64-bit floating point, and f32 for 32-bit floating point. After defining our parameters, we will define the result, which tells WebAssembly the return type for this function. We will have this function return an i32. To get the sum, we want to return something that looks like a plus b in a higher level language. WebAssembly is a stack machine. Unlike a register machine, stack machines move data onto a stack in order to process that data. All WebAssembly operations either push data on or pop data off a stack, or both. In order to perform the addition operation that will sum $a and $b, we need to push those values onto the stack. To do this, we call local.get on $a and local.get on $b. This will retrieve the value in those variables and push them onto the stack. The next thing we will do is call i32.add. This will pop two i32 values off of the stack, add them together, and then push the result back on the stack. The only value on the stack now is the sum of $a and $b. Because we're at the end of the function, and there's only one value on the stack, the sum value that is on the stack will be returned to the calling function. As I mentioned earlier, the export expression in the func definition allows the function to be called from JavaScript. Now we can compile this module using watt to wasm with the following command watt to wasm add.watt dash o add.wasm. WebAssembly modules must be executed from an embedding environment. In our case, we will be using node.js and JavaScript as our embedding environment. In order to execute the code in our wasm module, we will create a JavaScript file called add.js. Inside of this function, we will load our wasm module and execute the sum function that we defined using watt. 
Before instantiating our WASM module, we need to read in the binary WASM file in order to instantiate it. We will require the node module fs and use it to read that file. We will create a const called bytes and call fs.readfilesync on our WASM file, which will give us back binary data in the bytes constant. Now that we have the bytes from the add.wasm file, we can use an async IIFE to instantiate the WebAssembly module. We will call WebAssembly.instantiate, passing in the bytes constant as a uint8 array. The resulting WebAssembly module will be returned to the obj constant. After instantiating our WebAssembly module, we can execute the function sum that we defined in our Watt code. That function will be available to execute inside obj.instance.exports. We can pass in two numbers, in this case 7 and 5, as our $A and $B, and return the results to a variable called value. Finally, we can log that result out. When we run JavaScript using Node, we can see 7 plus 5 equals 12 in the output to the console. So that is how you make a basic WebAssembly module using Watt. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to draw a simple sprite to the canvas. Thanks for watching.